Well, hello everybody. I'm back. It's been a while. I've only been able to post like a couple small things. Been so busy with the holidays. I wanted to share with you now this a um, thrift haul. The thrift haul, I have been accumulating it because I haven't had the time to actually film anything or do much of anything except for my family and Christmas. So this is Connie and I'm Connie's Diamond Line Express. So I'm gonna share with you some of the really great things that I found. This rooster here is a cookie jar. I found it for $10 at our Mission Thrift Store and I fell in love with him, he's really big. And then about three days ago, I found this. This pot here is really cool. There's no chips on it or anything. It looks like it's from the 70s. And I think it was $5. The little stool that it's on was $3. I like to get those and use them as risers for whatever I have. And then I was lucky enough to find this beautiful embroidered purse with fringe on the bottom. It's velvet on the back. It's just a little small crossbody. And that was only $4 at one of our thrift stores. The colors are amazing. So I found these really beautiful gloves, which is perfect timing because, sorry, I got a dog here and he gets hair everywhere. Perfect timing because they're red velvet for Christmas. They're fluffy inside. They're small, but they fit my hands really good. So then I got a couple new coffee mugs and one of my favorites is this one here. It was only a dollar. It has a little grandma on both sides. Um, you know, one on each side, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And the mugs were only a dollar. That's one of them. And then the other one that I found is actually Starbucks. It was from 2008, but it's a um, Starbucks Christmas mug. It's really nice. No chips or anything. That one was also a dollar. This picture right here I've had for a little while. I've not gotten to film it. It was $5 and it's beautiful. So another picture from my collection. The same day that I found this pot right here, I was also able to find this really cool little um, carrier. I think it's meant for like napkins back here and like your silverware for your table here but it's really cute it's got a design on both sides of it actually all the sides of it and I got it for three dollars I love it that it's wood I think it's super cute there's so many things I can use that for and then just a while back I was also to able to find a bacon press. This one's a lot bigger than the last one that I had found at a thrift store. I don't remember the price on it. I believe it was around $4. It was from Hospice Thrift Store. And then I also found this really cool jug. I'm going to use it for change more than likely. And it was $6 and it was made in Italy. It's actually pretty big. Really cool design on this one. And then I got one more thing from the thrift store. And it, it's this really nice uh, leather vintage handbag. I love these things. They're just so fascinating. They remind me of my grandmother. Both of my grandmothers. There's nothing wrong with it. I put paper in them because it doesn't make them, um, it doesn't ruin them like plastic does. If you put plastic in and it always ends up ruining the, the purses. But I like them to keep their shape. So I put paper in all of mine. This one here was $6. So I love that one too. There's a spot on the back I need to finish cleaning off. Okay, and then I ordered some things from Timu a little while back. And... The other things I put away, I can't even remember what they were. I think they were like clothing. 
but I also ordered these really neat hats. These hats were only about five something at the time, but they look like they're hand knitted. So there's the black one with the little flowers. I love wearing hats like this. They're really warm for the winter time for whatever outfit. They both go with so many things. And there's the brown one. They did have some other colors. What's really nice about them too is they are lined. There's a lining in them. I've already worn these quite a few times. And uh, they're super warm. I really, really like them. You can squish them down on the top or puff them up, whatever you want to do. I usually figure that out when it's on my head. So anyway, I wanted to share these things with you that I had gotten because they're amazing before I lose track of them and all the other things and all the busyness for Christmas. I'm so happy that the subscriber count is is going up and up. It's like it just keeps climbing. And I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to all the people that have been here and all my new subscribers. I did a vid video a little while back where I showed you guys some of the hearts that I had collected from years ago after my husband passed. There's a video on it and what helped me was to get these giving hearts and give to people. People of all ages, you know, all lifestyles. They just put their first name on there and an age and what they're hoping for. Well, every year I have to put those on the tree. I also put them up above by this light because I have so many. So the video that I made was saying to you guys that as a thank you and a shout out, I'd like to post or not post. I would like to put little red hearts with like a first name from whoever on my tree as a thank you this year for subscribing and for coming back and watching. You guys have made everything so wonderful. It's my passion. I love doing all of this. If it just helps one of you or makes one of you smile, then that's all worth all of it. So only one person left their name in the comment underneath the video that I had shown probably three or four ago. But if you want your name on my tree, go ahead and just leave in the comments on this video, your first name or whatever you'd like, and I'll put it on a heart and hang it on my tree, and then I'm going to film it as a massive thank you for subscribing to my channel and for watching. So let me know after this video, I'll give it like a day or two and make the hearts for the tree and then I'm going to film. If I don't hear from some of you, because I know that you're very busy, I might make one huge heart also that's for all the subscribers to put on my tree. The old and the new and, and everybody that's on my channel now. And I thank you so much. It's, it's really, really a sweet thing to look and see it still climbing and that you like what I'm posting. I do have more videos coming up. I have one for Mimi's channel, Diane, that I told her I would do with a cookbook that I have. It's a casserole cookbook, but there's other things in it that you can make. And I was gonna show her the haul, the um, grocery haul for the ingredients for the uh, recipes in it. So the very first one I'm gonna do I'm gonna film probably tonight, so it'll be up the next day or two, is homemade pot pie, all with fresh ingredients. I've made it before in this uh, recipe book and it is amazing because it's older recipes and it just, it tastes so good. My boys just ate it like crazy. So thank you again for coming back. I'm gonna wish all of you a massive wonderful holiday and Merry Christmas and I will see you really soon so hugs love and huge smiles and we'll see you really soon